we've got active attacks. One from Apple, five plus from Microsoft. It's a ton to talk about. Let's get to it. The July 2023 patch report. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Patch Report. I am Dustin Childs, your host, head of threat awareness here at the Zero Day Initiative and our chief patch wrangler. We have so much to get to, so let's get straight to it. First, let's talk about Apple. Apple yesterday kicked off the whole patch process by releasing their rapid security response for an actively exploited WebKit bug. Uh, reason I bring this up is it is causing problems. So if you've updated your Mac OS or iOS or iPad OS and you're browsing to a website and you're having issues, this is why. They promise a new update is coming soon. So let's hope they uh, fulfill that promise. Touch on Adobe real quick because it's a very small release from Adobe. Cold Fusion and InDesign, that's about it. Cold Fusion, critical 9.8 CVSS bug. So maybe prioritize that. But really, if you're using Cold Fusion in 2023, I want you to take a look at yourself in the mirror and maybe reassess. It, it's time. It, it is. It is time. But let's move on to Microsoft because we have 130 new patches from Microsoft in two advisories. So you're going to hear different counts. Here's the way I count it. Five, five CVEs under active exploit. One of the advisories is also actively exploited. That's been going on since uh, December. So that's why I say five new ones. Standard components, uh, a little less Azure this month than we normally see, but let's get straight to these active exploits. And this one is the big one. This is Office and Windows HTML remote code execution. Uh, and I say it's the big one because there's not a patch. There's, there's not a patch out for it yet. Microsoft says that there's targeted exploits. So that's good that they're only targeted, not, not widespread. Uh, but yikes, uh, they say they're coming out with a blog with some guidance. As of this second, uh, the blog is not live. So uh, stay tuned. Um, uh, Microsoft also lists this as important. Mm, treat this one as critical, please. Yeah, this is this is the real deal. This is one that we're probably going to be hearing about for a while. Uh, everything else on the active exploit list is kind of interesting. First off, we've got an Outlook security feature bypass. This is going to be a common theme in this month's release. Uh, this bug allows you to evade a pop-up that says, don't open this file, or this file is not safe, or something along those lines. Obviously, it's going to be paired with something else, a file that you're going to want to open. Uh, so look out for that. Uh, Outlook is everywhere, so please test and deploy that one quickly. Um, Error reporting service, also under active attack. Uh, this is an elevation of privilege, privilege escalation. So it's going to be paired with something else as well. And there's the MSHML platform elevation privilege. Uh, this is also under active attack. I, I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, huh? Uh, also under active attack, also going to be paired with something. Uh, and then there's a smart screen security feature bypass, similar to the Outlook one, where it uh, is going to, it's supposed to pop a warning dialogue, but it doesn't. The last bug that I want to highlight here is this one. It's the message queuing remote code execution. This is not a messaging service. It's message queuing, which is a little different. It's a CVSS 9.8, which is one of the highest out uh, this month. Uh, and it was reported back in April. It was patched back in April by the same researcher. So we've got April to July, same researcher, same bug, looking, failed patch. Yeah, so if you thought you were protected from that back in April, you got to apply this one because it's probably a broken patch. And folks, there's uh, 125 other ones to talk about. Um, we've got some, just go through all of the uh, table here if you want. I just want to call out a couple other ones um, real quick. Scroll down, is that huge? Uh, routing remote access service. Uh, this is a CVSS 9.8 for these bugs. Uh, remote unauthenticated code execution at elevated privileges just by sending specially crafted bugs. Yeah, that's wormable, but only if you have uh, the routing and remote access service enabled, which it isn't on by default. So definitely take care of that. Um, the remaining patches are your normal stuff. It's just at a huge, huge, huge volume. Um, there is an ATL fix uh, for active templates library. And if you're an old timer like me, you're gonna twitch and think of MS 09035 doesn't look anywhere near as bad as that. So, whew, you know, thank goodness for that one. Um, thank goodness for small miracles. 
a bunch of other security feature bypasses to take a look at. Most of them, again, are evading that uh, that warning dialog. There are some man in the middles as well, uh, spe specifically in remote desktop. So definitely take a look at those. Lots of denial of service. Uh, interesting, this is a, a huge month for info disclosure bugs. All of but one are just memory, random memory. So that's great. Uh, but the one that isn't just random memory, uh, it could allow a, a, an attacker to uh, intercept and partially modify traffic between client and server systems. So yikes, yeah, that just could, you could completely take it over. So net login, take a look at that one closely. I do wanna talk about the advisories because they are important. Uh, the first one is for Microsoft sign drivers that are being maliciously used in the wild. This has been known and discussed about since December. So it's nice to see a full update coming to uh, out to address it. Um, there is some guidance in that advisory on what you need to do. Essentially what they're doing is taking the, the drivers in question and making them untrusted now. So that's fine, that, that works. Uh, there's also a, a an advisory for Trend Micro EFI modules. Uh, I'm a Trend Micro guy. So yeah, we disclosed this back in May, nothing new here, just Microsoft adding it to their stuff as well. Hey, look, our next Patch Tuesday is August 8th and I will be in Las Vegas for uh, Hacker Summer Camp, as they call it, which really means the Black Hat USA Conference. So I will be recording and posting from there. Uh, and if you see me at the conference, say hello, because I like it when people say hello. So until then, stay safe, uh, enjoy your updates, and may all your reboots be smooth and clean.